What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in this video, we have a very, very important video planned here. We're going to be talking about the ticker symbol MARA and the recent absolute explosion we have been seeing in the stock price. So if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those notifications and hitting the thumbs up button on this video. We're using the Webull desktop platform. It's a free to use platform. There's a link in the pinned comment in the description box down below to check that out and grab four free stocks when signing up. But right now we are looking at MARA. All right, look at this chart. This is the daily chart. We have this large kind of pennant shape breakout that we are seeing here starting really back in August. We made this first really big push up from sub $1 all the way up to over $5. Came down, held this trend line. Then we also had this kind of downtrend right here. If we zoom in, we can kind of see how this is formed. From the tops of this candle, tops of these candles kind of connecting right here. Uptrend generally kind of connecting the bottoms of these candles right here. We have a couple wicks down to the, to the bottom, which again, trading is an art, not an exact science, so it's never going to be perfect. But still, that said, we broke out of this level and we pushed up to the upside and made this massive move up. However, why did this happen and what does this look very similar to? Well, that's when we come over here and we take a peek at Bitcoin. Now, this is the weekly chart of Bitcoin. So let's actually move to the daily chart and we can see a pretty similar setup. Let's zoom it out and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between the Bitcoin price chart, right? From April here on the left, all the way out through currently the current time in December. And now looking at Mara. Now, not exactly the exact same chart as we saw a pretty big explosion here in August, but that's when we did see Bitcoin making a little bit of a push back in August. Back in July into August, Bitcoin did push up and it did break over 10,000. Now, why is that a key number? Well, 10,000 is a psychological number. Once he broke over 10,000, it got more media attention. People started talking more about it. And so it makes sense why Mara got more attention. Now, this stock correlates very, very well with Bitcoin. It's done so in the past and it's doing so right now. As Bitcoin is now making new highs, we have broken out all time highs. Bitcoin right now pushing 24,000. Wouldn't be surprised to see Bitcoin 25,000 by the time you're watching this video, even that could certainly be the case. But with this massive breakout here of Bitcoin and this massive push to the upside, we are looking at Mara now currently up 21% in the pre market. So we're looking at yesterday. And yesterday, yeah, we popped up to 885. We were down just north of 750 at one point, closed the day at 823. But right now, Mara is at 10 bucks. If we take a look at what's actually happening, look at the five minute chart, we gapped up huge. Now, why this actually happened? Well, because Bitcoin pushed up significantly overnight when Mara was not trading, when the stock market was closed. Now, you can trade from 4 a.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern on Weeple, which is why I absolutely love trading with this platform and using the platform because what I could have, what I actually had is I actually had orders set at just around 10 bucks. And so I woke up to my orders filled. Now, I still have some Mara personally. Absolutely does not mean needing to go buy the stock right now. But that said, I had my order set for just about 10 bucks and it filled when I woke up. And so I like when that happens. Now, however, if I had only been able to trade from 7 a.m., yes, okay, my orders would have filled at this point. But many times, you know, sometimes you get these gap ups and the stock pulls back and you don't actually get your order filled um, when you wanted it filled. That said, where can Mara go in the future? Taking a look at the daily chart when we're hitting new highs as of late. However, if we look back to the weekly chart, you want to go back to 2017 and we had the first really Bitcoin bull run back when Bitcoin hit 20,000. Now, I am not saying that MARA is going to go to 20 plus is going to go to 40 bucks. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. However, it seems as if right now we don't really know where Bitcoin's going to go. We're seeing more crazy headlines. We're seeing more media attention now that Bitcoin is hitting new highs over 20,000, which is somewhat expected. We expected that to happen, right? Now the FOMO kind of hits in. A lot of people are trying to get in while they can. And so who knows where Bitcoin can go? The one thing that is different from back in 2017 that we are seeing now is we're seeing a lot more funds. We're seeing a lot more investment banks. We're seeing a lot more bigger names talking about Bitcoin, talking about saying, hey, I'm investing in Bitcoin. Hey, you should invest in Bitcoin or you should put some money in Bitcoin. So that said, that's definitely a better sign. And so what we're going to have to watch here is there's not a perfect one to one correlation like Bitcoin goes up X percent, Mara goes up X percent. I wish that was the case, but there's a but there is a decent correlation here with Bitcoin saying, hey, if Bitcoin's pushing up, what we've been seeing right now is MARA is pushing up as well. So if you're someone who is in MARA looking to get into MARA, that's fine. Yes. Could you have gotten in down here at the 250 area? That's personally where I had an average back in at 250, rode this thing up to 693, then I actually got out, it pulled back, and then I actually got in back on this pop as we started pushing back over 20,000. Could you get in here at $10? Sure. Get in at $10. Just make sure you have Bitcoin pulled up as well. 
You can actually trade cryptocurrency on Webull as well right now, but make sure you have Bitcoin pulled up on another screen. You're always monitoring if Bitcoin's no longer uptrending, if it's downtrending, just understand that you should expect MARA to follow suit with the general trend that we're seeing with Bitcoin. So hopefully that was helpful. Hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and don't forget to grab your four free stocks with Weeble. Link in the pinned comment description box down below, like always. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.